What the fuck is up, everybody? So if you've seen the title, you already know. You already know what's gonna happen. Um, I don't know why my channel suddenly turned into this. Turned into, there's literally like two videos of me doing face paint on here, but still. Um, I actually hit my one year on like my oldest video that's still on the channel. Um, like over winter break, so that was pretty bomb. And I have like 13 videos total, which is sick. And I just thought, you know, why not celebrate it with some more face paint? Of course, I brought my wonderful trusty palette. No one can find it anywhere. It's um exclusive. There's only three in the world. There's a fly that is buzzing around. He was like on the camera. I hope that it like showed up, but it won't. And um, just thought today, while we're revisiting some um, of my first content, that would go back in time and visit some of my ex-friends. Turn myself into them, you know? Just kidding, I was always the snake. I don't know, like, there's so many different kinds of like snake, like ways to like do it on your face. So like, the outcome has yet to be predicted. I'm using a few reference photos, which maybe I'll throw in right here. Um, just some really basic stuff to, you know, give me an understanding of what I want. And the application you're gonna see is A1 because I've been watching um, this FX channel called Glam and Gore. <laughs> she has like, I don't know, like three point something on million, three point something million on YouTube and she's amazing and she does special effects and you should go check her out because she obviously needs my promotion as the biggest makeup channel on here. So, I think the level of preparation is none for this, as I just thought of the idea about 20 minutes ago. Fun. And um, even when I sat down, decided what to do, took screenshots of reference pictures, I still had to look at the actual thing to make sure I had a green. So that's um, the level we're working at here. And without further ado, let's just jump into it. Let's just jump on into it. Let's just jump into it. Um, I already fucked up. I already fucked up. Did the marks for where I thought the brows would point? Way too high. Way too high. How have you been? I've been fine. <coughs> While we're doing this, why don't we tell some snake stories? There's lots of stories of me being a snake, because I am one. Um... But I've encountered a few, um, a few, I'm trying to think of like a snake name that doesn't sound like a dick, like Python or Anaconda, but we're not, they all sound like one. Um, Cobra, Cobra doesn't sound like a dick. Um, I've encountered a few Cobras in my life, you know, fucking nasty people. And I've encountered some people who are very lovely, but then like they evolved into a Cobra. Like they were just like an innocent snake egg and then they became a Cobra, so like, tea and um the most recent experience i had with a snake was actually at my fucking work because like yeah like this person i thought was my friend went behind my back and started talking shit and apparently i found out they've been talking shit behind everyone's back with their fucking friends so that's disappointing that's really disappointing we were rooting for you we were all rooting for you and you had to go and do that so <laughs> but who am I to talk, you know? Like, I am no better. Except I am, and fuck you. Oh, I thought, why did I think that would go well for me? We're fine. We're fine. Sorry, I just had one of those moments where, like, I considered stopping everything. But we're good. Um, other, other tea. Recent tea? Am I angry at anyone? Anyone else ever just occasionally like re-download Tinder for like a few hours and then immediately regret everything and delete it? Cause like, that's a big old mood. Cause like, I, I can't even see what I'm doing. I like downloaded it again. Cause I had it for like a couple weeks once. I downloaded it again. And then like, I immediately like deleted it like literally two hours later. And I think I was, yeah, I was drunk when I made it. Um, a second time, so like, that explains it. Yeah, it was terrible. I hated every single second of it. I got, like, 
couple of matches and they both ignored me. I was like, all right, fucking bitches. But like, no, you're not a bitch if you don't want to talk to me. But like in my drunken lonely haze, yes, you were a bitch to me and I'm angry, but I'm not, but I am. Fuck you, just kidding, but like, fuck you. Completely changing the subject. Let's talk about YouTube. I've abandoned this channel. I only film when I like want to, which sounds, it's such a 2019 YouTuber thing to do. I only post when I feel like it. I'm going away for a few months because I don't feel like posting. It's your fucking job. Get back on there, bitch. And that's not just bitch saying it like only females do that because Lord knows the guys are probably doing it more. But like, unless you have a, like an actual, like an actual physical mental, physical mental, an actual mental illness, then like you do you. But like, if you don't, I don't know. I think breaks are good, but I think some people just like think stress shouldn't exist. And when it does exist, they're like, huh. And I'm like, like, what do you expect? Fucking posting three times a week and you're like, this isn't sustainable. It's like, fuck yeah, it isn't. But you're gonna run out of shit to do. You gotta be like fucking David Dobrik. He fucking makes his like, he doesn't, it's obvious. Like if you watch his older vlogs, he had nothing to film. Like they were like low key boring, but his new vlogs are so interesting because he makes things happen. He knows that you're gonna run out. Like your friend's charm is going to run out. And like, he's adapted to it, okay? Like, there's ways around it. If we wanna talk about snakes, let's talk about like one of the biggest snakes I've ever fucking met. Um, so this person and me were close near the end of high school. And suddenly everyone who ever went to high school with me is suddenly listening a lot closer. Because they're like, is this about me? Probably not. I wouldn't let you follow me if you fucking were a snake. But, like, I probably would because I don't like confrontation. But, yes, I do. But, no, I don't. Hi, I'm Dylan. Hi, I'm Alex. So, this fucking snake was close to me specifically my senior year of high school, mostly. I would say more like the first, second trimester? No, second trimester. We had a class together. No, we had two classes together. Like, I'm not gonna lie, they were the bomb.com for me. I was like, wow, this is an amazing person. And I thought they thought I was amazing too. And I got closer to them. I introduced them to my friend. I didn't introduce them, we all know each other. But like, um, you know, I invited them places with my friends, and they invited me. Actually, did they? I don't know, I don't think they ever invited me anywhere. So they probably didn't like me, and I just was oblivious. This story sucks. <laughs> they're one of those people where they're your friend only when you like have mutual interests. You know, like you're only friends with someone like in school, or like as long as you have a certain class, and then you like don't talk to them if you don't. Like that was this person, like entire personality. Yeah, we got close, and then the third trimester came, and we, like, didn't have any class together, and we grew apart, but I still invited them um, to a couple things, and I thought we were still getting along together, but they just, like, apparently never were into being my friend, or something more, and um, just kind of, I feel kind of used, because they really tried getting close, and I mean close, with, like, my friends, and I was like... Girl, what you doing? And, you know, you talk shit about me, I think. Honestly, I forget. I, I'm, like, so over this that I, like, forget the details of what happened. But basically, they betrayed my trust. I thought they were close. And then they'd say shit that, like, was, like, low-key heartbreaking. Like, it was nothing. And I was like, all right, okay, I can overlook this because I'm desperate. They just kind of, like drifted out of my life and just like never acknowledged it never said how much they were just trying to get close to me like I took them when they didn't have anywhere else to go and then they just like whenever I took them places with like other people they wouldn't like talk to me like they like like I was just a stepping stone to get to other people and honestly it fucking sucks to be used like that when you want to be close to someone and they 
you know, deceive you. That's the fucking, that's the shit Taylor Swift writes songs about. Oh my God, I'm making myself into Taylor Swift. Huh, cause she's a snake. Wow, shook. I didn't even realize it. Queen, honestly, I love it. I would take a bullet for Taylor Swift. Like, no, like I fucking love her so much. Like I would consider death as an option to ensure that she stays alive. I hope she bans me from her concerts now. I hope I get on her stalker list. Do you know she had this thing at her concert, like in this media booth that you could walk in before the concert and it scanned your face when you walked in and, and it would um, run a facial recognition against um, the list of known stalkers of her? Iconic. I'm gonna ask again because um, last time I asked, I actually got a response in form of a text message, which shocked me because that means that someone had watched that much of that video, but I have to ask again. Is this entertaining? Is this something people enjoy? Because like, this is the shit that like, people don't watch. But I don't have time to be upset because I can't see what I'm doing and I kind of regret going this much into detail even though there's so little detail. A song by me for all of you waiting for my album it's coming out soon it's gonna be great if it's anything like my poetry book all three of my fans will buy it so you know fun and that's why i'm losing friends because i can admit when i'm wrong oh fuck that sucks implies that the other stuff doesn't suck <sighs> this is no, I'm like, I can't, this is my dominant eye, so now everything's out of per like depth per perception. My hand's covering my mouth. I'm good at this. I, trust me, I'm a professional, I swear. I am so excited for this next part. You have no idea. I think this is either going to be the best idea I've ever had or the worst. So, I grabbed some headphones that I don't care about. Or they're broken, I don't remember. And we're just going to take the black. And we're just gonna fucking rub that shit on there. Okay, we've made a section black because we're inclusive. That's a, that's a risky joke. And we're just gonna see what happens when I go boop. Did that? That kind of worked. That kind of worked. I will not accept anyone who says that that did not work at all. Because that kind of worked. <gasps> oh shit, it was almost good. Oh boy, that's kind of working. Oh no, it's not working. <laughs> wow, that side looks rough. <laughs> That's a little better. That's rough too. I have stopped caring. I'm not saying the nose slits do a lot, but they do a lot. <laughs> Okay, the flash went right in my eye and I can't see and also everyone in the city of Boston just saw that, so. I genuinely just fell back because, oh fuck, my leg has gone completely numb from sitting on it and I just could not put any weight on it. By the way, how do you like my filming setup? It's great, right? I use a chair and I balance it on a wallet. Let's go see what my roommates have to say about this. Oh. So, as you've learned by now, I am a snake. I'm so disappointed in this era. What the fuck? I just thought you should know that I'm a snake. You too, Simon. Huh? Just thought I'd let you know I'm a snake. Oh, <laughs> snake. Yeah, I know this isn't new information, but I'm a snake. Uh, I think that's new information, though. Love support. Hello. I am a snake. Doesn't care. Yes. I said I'm a snake. What are you doing? I said I'm a snake. I've become <laughs> my final form. I'm a snake. Don't what you film you me. Doing? I'll film you. This goes back and forth. Oh my god. I'm a okay. snake. Didn't realize he was streaming. Shook. Follow me on YouTube. <laughs> the shout out of the week. The shout out of the week used to go to my dog. 
but um, she unfortunately passed away, so I can't do that anymore. <laughs> um, so I think this shout out of the week is going to go to my friend Chris, because he is one of the most supportive people for my videos. Like I like in my group of friends, he was the one that knew what the video I last posted was about. He's the one that texted me that like, you know, he enjoyed the video. He's the one that like made a meme edit of my other video, you know, so like shout out to him. Hope you guys have a good semester if you're in college, trimester, whatever the fuck, and try to stay away from the snakes. See ya. It's not coming off well, so... Good.